Three works here to play. Mini War Gaming Speed the Cooler Bat Rep. Against my leadership. Which is? Nine. Assuming I don't run off the table. And when you run off the table, you measure from where? The guy in the back? Yeah. And you roll 2d6, right? Minus one. Because we're dwarves. <laughs> that actually helps you in this case. Yep. So Except you... for that if you try and chase me, they have an easier chance of getting overrun. If you chase me off the board, your guys come back on on your turn. Okay. Well, they can't to... charge, okay, but all right. What do I need to roll to? 2d6. If you roll six. I roll six, I get you? Yeah. Nope. Double one. So they run five inches back. Does that mean I still run? Yep, you still go two inches. That's actually good because then you don't have that stupid rune thing that can make it harder for me to charge you next time. That's if you regroup. If we regroup. Or is it called reforming? Reform, regroup, rally. Rally? What word do you want to use? I don't know which one it is in the book. It's one of the three of those. Okay. Actually, I don't think it's reform, but it doesn't matter. So, that was my turn. Yes. So now it's your turn. Now it's my turn. Okay, then we'll just commence combat. Oh, this guy, rally. Double ones. Nope. He goes... Far. Six inches. <coughs> Dead. All right, so he's going to charge into my fleeing guys. If he makes it to them, which he did, they're dead. Okay, so they're dead. So Unless you roll snake eyes and I roll a six, then I would stop you. There's it? Yeah, because they have the banner slowness still. Oh, no, bannerman actually dies. Never mind. Why is he dead? When you lose combat and run, the bannerman doesn't run. Ah, okay. So you charge at nine, so you kill them. Wait, hold on. You only move up to where they were, and then you get a free reform, which basically, you want to do that. One second. Before I want to charge you, on your turn you have to roll to regroup or whatever, right? No. That was the end of my turn when they ran. Okay, so, on so my now, turn, now it's my turn. Yep, and you charged. Wait. I don't want to charge them yet. Because maybe I can charge the guys in the building, and then you'll just fail on your own and run off the table. So I won't have to waste this turn charging them, and you can shoot at me. Okay. Do you have some sort of rune in there that uh, halves my distance? Nope, but we get to shoot you on your way in. You're going to shoot me anyway. Yes. But I'd rather you shoot me at less ballista skill. That's probably smarter. The only difference being, if you charge these and get closer, you're going to be within four, which is your movement, so I won't get to stand and shoot. Oh. If you charge them now, they will get to stand and shoot. So you're going to get shot either way. Either we shoot you now, or we shoot you after you kill this unit. The only difference is you guarantee that this unit dies. So that is the better option? Yes. It is. Okay, then I'll do that. <laughs> That's what I would recommend. Because now, you're going to get shot anyway, but at least this way, these guys are dead. And they won't come after you from behind or the side when you fight these guys. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. And then you choose which combat you want to do first. Let's do... This, because there's only one. My yeah, mistake. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Okay, so this one there. The challenge stays in play until one of us dies. So you attack me first then? Yep. Dwarf's got five attacks. Hitting on fours. Awesome roll. Yep. Wounding on fives, because your toughness is six. Nope. Oh. Okay, awesome. Now, I attack you with five attacks. I need threes to hit you. Yep. And that's three, once again. Now I need threes to wound you. Yep. And that's one. I have five up. That wow. That's cool. Wow. Ding, ding, ding. How lucky. Now for the rest of these guys. Uh, I believe I had 16 attacks last time. One of these guys would move up. You had... What was it, 16? 17. Because it was 8, 12, plus 5. I don't mind being wrong in this case. Okay. Actually, you, need, you get an additional one. We're just going to put that guy in there. Why? Because 
it's an empty slot. I, I actually don't know how, there's not a lot of definition on what it means when the champions fight each other, like in a challenge. It says, you could even move them off base to base to make it more cinematic. What does that mean? So we moved them out of the way, because really they're not going to be in the way of the fight, because they're going to be off doing their own little challenge. So we're going to, I moved one guy up into my empty spot where my champion was. As long as we're both doing it, I'm fine. Yeah. The only difference is it makes the combat go faster, because more attacks yep. from both sides. Okay, so I get more attacks on this then. Yeah, so you're going to get an additional three more. That was to your own detriment, so I'm fine with it. Yeah. I need fours and fours. Yeah. No, no, fours and threes. Because I've helped. That's right. That looks like an awesome roll. Not bad. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, not threes. That's a good roll, too. Yeah. And these guys have a bunch of five ups. I think this will be the end of the dwarves. Maybe not. And six up. Four of them die. So you broke a ranks. So you now have more ranks than me. But I get to attack. How do I have more ranks? We have the same ranks. I've lost a guy. So we have the same ranks, don't we? No. You have to have five for it to count. Oh no, my mistake. Yeah, you move that. Never mind. I'm not even paying attention. Don't know what's going on around me. Okay. Fours. That's a six. And toughness fours. Fours. Uh, five up. Yep. Die. Yep. Actually, it was a four up, but it was still was a it four up. It was a three that you rolled, but it was a four up because they're only strength four. They're oh, not yeah. the the guns are fives. Oh, okay. Okay. So I lost by a bunch. Yep. <laughs> so you did bunch. three more wounds. I have one more rank. I lost by two. Does the Oath Stone make me stubborn? I hope you're stubborn. It would be a good thing if you were. So I'm starting to realize... Nope, they're not. ...that uh, Warriors of Chaos, the actual Warriors themselves, are the best choices for a Warriors of Chaos army. Seems that way. Yep. Leadership 8. They run. They run. Will I try to chase you? Might as well. Yeah, I will. You caught them. What? They're minus one. Oh, they are. So if I tie you, I get you? Yep. So he's dead. They're all dead. Did I get a re reform? You move, no, you move the distance. Oh. You don't get a reform at the end. Which is seven inches? Yeah. So I got that. And you get to roll. No, you don't. You didn't beat me in the challenge. I was going to say rolling on the eye of the gods, I got you. but you didn't actually win the challenge. He just scurried off with his short friends, and then I got cut down from behind. In proper dwarf fashion. Okay, so it's your turn. Yep. Ah, oh, what to do? I'm not going to charge. They're going to try and do a swift reform. Leadership nine, which they pass. So they get to do a quick reform because they have a musician. And then they're going... So when you reform, how far can you turn? 180. 60? Well, however far you want. You just change... You can even change shape. Like, say I had 30 guys. I could change it so I'm 10 across. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're going to turn around. So they're going to able to shoot you, but they're going to count as moving when they shoot. So it'll be minus one. And yes. Because they back. did a reform? Is that why? Right. And that's what we're gonna do. Shoot you with everything, and shoot you with everything again, and then one more time, and hopefully you won't come back. Okay. Hitting on fours, because they moved. Go! Wounding on fours. One wound, five up. One guy dies. Dwarves are in trouble. Dwarves are in trouble. Shooting. Hitting these guys on threes. Okay. Better roll. Quite better. Wounding them on fours, though. 
Still better. Three five ups. That's twenty five percent. That's a panic check. So whatever your leadership is, twice, because you have will of the gods. All oh, right. So leadership uh, be nine. Okay, she's right there. Yep. All right, and these guys are going to shoot these guys. Okay. Only you're within four. I'm within four. That, that's only when you charge me. I won't get to stand and shoot. Oh, okay. But I still can shoot. Kind of like Overwatch. Yeah. Wait, you normally need threes? Yep. Holy freak. And then wounding on fours. Five. So five up. And then a six up. Because these guys have Mark of Zinch. It gives them the ward save. And they have shields too, though. That only works in close combat. Okay. So three. And then a six up. Three. And that's 25% for them as well. So eight up. Or eight or less, and that's a seven, so they're good. Yeah. Okay. Your turn. One last chance on that night. Oh yeah. Leadership. Nope. Oh. And he is off the board. Uh, not off the board yet. He went six. Why do you go six? Because two threes are six. You roll two threes. You did. I I have okay, proof. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Question about him. These guys. I want to charge this unit. Not this turn. So I'm going to have to turn around this turn. Yep. You have your musician. So the best way of going about this would do a quick reform to turn and face me and then move close as you can. Am I able to move off the board this turn? No. You can't willingly move off. You can overrun off. You can't okay. willingly run off. Okay. So musician does what now? Gets you, you pass a leadership check and you can turn. But you're going to want to charge first. Yeah. That's, I do that in the movement then, I guess. Yeah. So they would charge. They make it. I can't stand and shoot because he's within his movement. Okay. Then I shall charge you. They did. So I'm just going to make it. Yeah. Doesn't matter what angle I do it at. Nope. Okay, so that's charge. Uh, then I do move, right? So these guys will want to pass a leadership check. These guys? Yeah. Why do they have to pass? Basically, you can do a normal reform where you just reform your unit. Yeah. But if you do a musician swift reform, which you pass a leadership, you can reform and then do a normal movement. So now you can turn around and then move your four inches closer. Like that? Yeah. Which will get you within four. So these guys can't stand and shoot. You're going to get shot again, but we're not going to be able to stand and shoot against you. Okay. They'll probably die. But these guys are going to assault them. Oh, this is going to be a close game, but I think you got it. I think you'll kill them. And uh, I'll kill these guys, but I'm going to have to run to you. And we're going to shoot them. And you're going to shoot them down. Yep. So that's my prediction. I don't think we're going to kill that chaos load. But it doesn't, if they run away, doesn't he run away with them? They have to make them run away. What do you mean? Your leadership nine, re-rolling. You're not going to run. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, so. You go first. So what, the way it works with buildings is you nominate ten guys to go in. All your guys. Okay, so the meal. And I nominate ten of mine, which is all of them. And then we fight out of combat as if everybody was in base to base. Oh, very nice. So I go first. Yeah. So you have seven guys yeah. with two attacks each. So this is fours and then threes. Uh, fours and fours. We're toughness four. You're only strength four. Fours and fours. Actually, I have, nope, this is threes and fours. These guys aren't as good weapon skill either. Yeah. Because your weapon skill five, right? Probably. They're chaos. Do we want to just assume that, or do you want me to tell you for real? You can double check. I'm pretty sure it's that. Yeah. Warrior cast, let's go by. So okay. then fours. Four. And they have a five up armor save because they have light armor and shields. So your strength force, so they have a six up armor save. And then they have a six up parry save. 
which none of them make. So four of them are dead, so there's six left. And they're hitting on fours. So I got two hits, wounding on fives. Nothing. Okay, lost by four. They lose. So they're running. So they flee out the back of the building. So you have to fail? Yeah. So Seven inches. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not even going to roll for that then. You wouldn't. You would just go into the building. Okay. Or you can reform. Like do the whole leadership check to just turn around instead of pursuing into the building. Okay, so let's turn around. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm good. So. I turn around on the spot, right? It's not like these guys are whipped around because my size of my base is like that. Right, they just turn around on the spot. Movement trays are just convenience. They don't have really any gameplay. And that's it for my turn. Yep. Okay. All right. So we're going to shoot you again. So the guys lined up in front of them. Threes. Fours. One. Oh, wow. Five up. Die. Now, the way it's going to work with Hold this. On, they have shields. Did they get a parry? Not at range. Okay. Yeah. The way it's going to work with these hits is you actually are going to have to delegate these because you have a unit champion, you have a musician, a standard bear, and your lord. So, whatever wounds I do, you can knock them between them. It only comes into play when you're down to the last five guys. So everybody takes wood. You only need two up? I need four up. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say. So I take two wood, so does it, does it matter here? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Alright, so I'll just roll it individually. So the musician? Musician. Lived. Okay, the next guy, which is the champion. Didn't. Okay. This guy. Regular guy. And standard bear. Standard bear. Didn't. And your lord. He failed. So now he's a three up ward. Which he passed. So three guys died. Yep. Oh, you know what? I think my ward will, or my lord, might we'll make it. Kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And then. Panic check. Okay. If you don't pass this, then I might win. Which okay. you fail, That's but you get to re-roll. Okay. That's a fail as well. So you run directly away from them. Wow. Wow. So I'm there? Yep. And the worst part is, because that guy's still alive, you have to roll snake eyes. Because the unit's below 25%. But I can just detach them and put them in the spot. In my next movement? Why not? Because they're fleeing. He's fleeing. With oh, the unit. Oh, really? Yeah. That sucks. Like 99% sure that's the way it is. I'm going to double check just to make sure. Better fail then. So having gone to page 97 of the rule book, because he is still part of that unit, they have to pass snake eyes to not, or to rally. So he has the one unit of seven guys left. Okay. Who are technically facing towards the dwarves, but that doesn't really matter until you start moving. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, let's just move eight. Well, they gotta try and rally actually. These guys? Yep. Or these no, guys? those guys, yeah. Okay. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. And they're off the board. Well, well now. Actually, points wise, we're probably close right now. Maybe, yeah, actually. Those units are crazy expensive here, guys. Yeah, so are my Sunderers. These are nearly 200 points a unit, so. Okay, that's eight inches. Let's shoot them again. Yep, we're all within range. Hitting on fours. We'll just 
gonna roll them all together. Yeah. Wounding on fours. It's one of those days, right? Oh, wow. Five up and then six up. Surprisingly good. Yeah, that was uh, very lucky. <laughs> three sixes on the boards. That was Zeech. Just save three of those guys. You'd be down to one guy left in that unit otherwise. No, I make a panic, panic. check. Yeah. yeah. Eight twice. <laughs> Got it. Well, sure, you guys make it. Whereas on nine, fail twice. It's uh, your other unit gets the fire. I rolled them all together. Oh, you did? So okay. it's your turn. That's my turn. I'm just gonna move eight. On a 12, you could make it. I wouldn't do that. No, that'd be stupid, because then it's another <laughs> Then I'll shoot you, and then I'll shoot you twice more. Is there anything they can do to move further than that? No. Be an elf. How many turns are there? Six. I honestly don't know. Are you guessing? Are I you... honestly don't know. What kind of guess is that? <laughs> I don't know, that's like a pretty, that sounds like it's a legitimate guess. What turn are we on? I don't know. Well, is that a guess? No, I said, are there, how many turns are there? You said No, six. I know there's six. And then you asked what turn we're on. Oh, okay. I was there. I heard it. Because I think <laughs> the game's over. Probably. It's going to be over in a moment. Oh, no, it's over now, because I just finished my turn. So you're going on to game seven. Turn All right, seven. we can end right now. I'm just kidding. Let's continue. Threes. Give me the glory. Of teaching games? One wound, two wounds. Two of teaching games. Five up. Then the six up. And he died. That's 25%. Yep. And then we're going to shoot him again. Okay. So I'm just going to shoot him again. Because you should die. I really should. Nope. Well, maybe. Wait, what do you need? Four. And then fours. Three wounds. Five up. Two. Six, six up. <laughs> None. <laughs> That's the power of Zeech. That's Zeech right there. But you still have to make that panic check. Which you promptly pass. Okay. Now, do you have, the, do you have that root? No, you don't have the rune thing in this squad, do you? No. Yeah. It was only the two units of hammers. So you can charge these guys. You need to roll four. I'm going to stand and shoot. So before you roll, I get to shoot you again. Don't shoot me. Hitting on fours. What? Yep. Yeah, because it's ballistic skill three plus one minus one. So fours. And wounding on fours. Three wounds. Here we go again. Five up. Six up. All right, we got one. And, and then they try and charge. No panic? No. Not when you're trying to charge. And you didn't make it. <laughs> wow. So you move two inches forward, and we shoot you again. Okay. But I'm pretty sure the game would be over at this point, whatever turn we were on. And if it wasn't, those guys were near dead. All right, many more gamers? That was a teaching fantasy bat rep. If you watched the entire thing, we went basically over what happens when you run a dwarf flying. Thoughts? Mm. I'm still unsure. Fair enough. Yeah. Be in news like that. I understand. Yeah, I'm actually unsure about everything. But uh, it's going to take more than two games. Warriors. To play well. It takes a lot of games. I'm not even a very good player. What are you talking about? I'm not. I get, modest. I get outplayed a lot. Here, actually. It's your die rolls. Like Tuesday nights. It, is it has nothing to do. It's your die rolls. You can be the best tactician in the world. Your die rolls suck. There's nothing to do about that. Beat Matt despite them. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was a good game. And next time we'll bring magic. It'll be Dark Elves. Because we got a whole bunch of new Dark Elves to come and 
show you. Anyway, yep. so that was a good game, and stay tuned for more fancy bat reps, and go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge to challenge us. Happy Wargaming.